Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man, back in the studio with another completed commission. Uh, today we have uh, two of the Skatari start collecting boxes. Um, unfortunately, they are discontinued now. Uh, they are slightly different. They have a different uh, HQ, and then instead of the Doom Crawler, they have the new uh, tank. So um, still similar in the sense that they have the same troops, but um, these ones are no longer in production. So this is a nice uh, Skatari or Adeptus Mechanicus force. Uh, we've got our two dune crawler vehicles uh, with the same weaponry equipped uh, basically like your typical way for battle uh, and then we also have uh, 10 of the rangers and 10 of the vanguard uh, five and five in each squad uh, and then we have uh, two plasmas uh, and two of the uh i can't believe remember what it's called the lightning uh gun and then we also have our uh, two tech priests uh dominus and then we've assembled them so that they look uh, slightly different as well with the head options and weapon options. So, uh, And then we reversed a couple of the colors on like the uh, jars and everything so they appeared slightly different. Uh, so this, uh, this is a nice commission. It's got the Mars style basing. Um, it is the Stygis uh, 8, I believe it is. It's like the um, faction or uh, uh, whatever you call it for Mechanicus. I know they have like different names for each one of them, but... Um, so just kind of looking at them, the idea was to get like the nice uh, Mars style basing um, with not only like some rubble and skulls, uh, but also kind of like the mesh grating underneath. Um, we wanted nice uh, bright highlights uh, for like the jars and the lights, um, also like the weapons as well. And like I said, we did like the two different uh, head options for the tech priest. Uh, so they are a little bit different, even though they're technically the same model. But you'll notice like this one has the plasma, uh, the other one had the uh, shock weapon, and then we just reverse like uh, where the different glows um, were coming from on the actual like vials on top of them. So we just switched out like the blue and the green on the different ones. Give them a little more differentiation, a little more uniqueness. And then as you'll see, uh, we did like the uh, little setup for a sergeant out of each uh, squad. Nice looking overall, very nice. Very happy with how they came out and then we have like the nice glow effect uh, not only on their eyes but also obviously on the weapons as well uh, so they like stand out clearly on the battlefield not only for uh, you know your opponent's sake uh, but also so they're just easier to remove or like leave in place so you don't actually pull out the wrong guy when you're taking casualties but uh, we used to achieve like a real nice lighting effect very cool overall just grab one of these bad boys out of here. And uh, the Doom Crawlers, obviously, very cool models. Um, very popular and very effective in game terms. Especially now with the ability to uh, shoot into combat and everything. I'm a big fan of like the cool little attachments they have to like walk on the south ground. They have like those little pads on their feet. And then obviously, once again, we went with like uh, the various like different substrates and highlights. So that they like stood out very clearly, but also have like a nice unique effect. Um, I think a lot of people cut corners and don't even realize it uh, with various things. We like to make sure that, uh, you know, every bit of the model gets some effect. So, you know, nice black around the base, like keep the rim clean, multiple substrates on the actual basing, and then highlights on everything throughout. Nice color combination but still limited to a certain number of colors. So it's not just like crazy on your eye when you look at them. So you can see like a clear coherency between all the models in the army. But then you also get, uh, you know, like the uniqueness of the special weapons troopers, the vehicles, all that stuff like sands out very clearly, squad sergeants, um, etc. And then we try to assemble them in a way uh, that like no two models look exactly the same. They're always going to be in like different poses or different heads. Uh, etc so but there we have it guys uh adeptus mechanicus commission uh all finished up and ready to head out of the studio uh very happy with how this one came out and the uh client already responded that he was very happy with them as well so i'm always glad to uh you know make the wait worth the while um that's the problem with uh you know doing good work is it does take time and uh, the demand this year has been just out of control uh, more than ever in the past and I'm very grateful for that uh, we at the studio are very grateful for you know obviously uh, no matter how much demand there is the top priority is uh, quality overall 
and uh, making sure that not only the client's happy with them, uh, but that, uh, you know, we're happy with them before they leave the studio as well. So there we have it, guys. Another one done. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and I'm out of here.